Rubber game of the series between the Dodgers and Cubs in a potential playoff preview. Brock Stewart on the hill looking for his first career win and looking good in the third facing Dexter Fowler. Young Brock Stewart turns right handed deals. This one is in there. Strike three called so Fowler strikes out a second time. Oh, Brian was nine years old and I think he hit seven in the tournament and he strikes out. Wow. The Rizzo strikes out. He has struck out six in a row and eight in the game. We're still scoreless, each team with three base hits. Here's a 3 2. Swung on and missed strike three. Turner down on strikes. That ends the inning. For Lester, his sixth strikeout of the game. And the batter now, Adrian Gonzalez. With the bases loaded, he's been pretty much Mr. Reliable. A little ground ball to third. They go quickly to second base, safe, and the run scores. The Cubs, I believe, are going to ask for a review. Javier Baez handling the ground ball, but the problem was the second baseman Zobris was five feet into right field. And by the time Zobris got to the bag, the throw was late. Safe. And the Dodgers get a run in the eighth inning to lead one to nothing. Ground ball to the hole. Seager was deep. Comes up and throws on a bounce. And it is in time. Oh, what a tough play. And he'll do it. The David Ross strikes out. The Cubs go quietly in the ninth. Meanwhile, the Giants beat the Braves 13 to 4. So the Dodgers remain in first place, leading by two games. Henley Jansen with his 39th save as the Dodgers take two of three from the Cubs, winning at 1 0. Brock Stewart gets a no decision, tossing five scoreless innings, allowing two hits, striking out eight. Adrian Gonzalez with two hits and an RBI. Chris Bryant extends his hitting streak to 10 games in the loss.